Um, I was trying to do the pick of the show. I, I wound up going with the um, with the lumen sanitizer, but this was my backup, <laughs> which is Bell and Howell. These are the disc lights that have been so popular here. Discounted today at $43.95. You get 10 of these, all right? It is the most affordable way to transform your landscape with an instant transformation, and they're totally solar. Um, an accent any home, any garden, walkway, anywhere. Um, you are getting 10 of these for $43.95. You're also getting the, the stakes to go with them. If you want to stake them in the ground, what I love about them is you basically just lay them on the ground and they turn on when it, when dust comes. And these are super sensitive cells um, that turn on at dusk. It's not, they don't need total darkness for them to turn on. We'll show you, we're not even gonna dim all the lights in the studio and you'll see these activate. You can put these on a wall. We even put the little keyhole on the back so you can put them up against the fence if you wanna do that. But you're gonna get 10 of these at, at, at $43.95. These have been flying out the door. Now, colors available. I have them in the stainless and I have them available in the bronze. Those are the two colors that I have available. You get beauty, you get safety, you get security, low profile, and what's nice is they do up lighting versus traditional solar lights, which kind of do down lighting. These will up light, so if you want to put them in bushes or shrubs or under a tree, they're ideal. You can take them anywhere you want. There's no cords, there's no digging, there's no trenching instant beautification of your lawn and garden. 685-872, Lou Caputo is standing by, Skyping in. Lou is back, and he's back with the disc lights. Hey, Lou. Hey, good morning, guy, how are you? <laughs> good, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to my home, my friend. We decided we would do this indoors since it's daylight outside right now. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, so we're sitting here having a little cup of coffee um, and talking about our little disc lights right here. You know, these are so much better than the ones we had before, Guy, only because, well, first of all, they've added 12 of these LEDs on this guy. I'm going to hold this nice and close so you can see it. Take a look at that right oh, there. Yeah. We've got 12 of the SMD LEDs on these guys. The SMD stands for Service Mount Device LED. And that just means that they're going to put out a tremendous amount of light. They use very little power. Now, um, I heard you say we only have two colors left. What do we have right now? We guy? have stainless and bronze. Stainless and bronze. Fortunately, yeah. I happen to have the bronze here at my yeah. house. So... The, the, no matter what color you're getting, they're all 304 stainless steel, so these are not going to rust. Um, so obviously, you know, they're going to last a very, very long time outside. Um, what I want to show you, though, is something kind of fun here. I'm going to bring the lights down just so you can see how these are going to look when you have them in your home now, or in your home, when you have them outside your home. Most people will be using these outside. But look at how much light these put out, and look at how it's illuminating me. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's great. And, and I said earlier, Lou, they're super sensitive, which is one of the things I love. When we came in today, yeah. we had most of the lights down and the lights right. were on. And I said, that. see, that's what's nice because people want their lights to go on right at dusk. They don't want to have to wait till it's pitch black and all of a sudden they kick on. But these are super reliable. There's no maintenance on them. Once you turn, there's a little switch on the bottom that you turn on to activate it and then you just put them on the ground. And I love, Lou, that they're low profile and that they, that they uh, illuminate the light upwards, which really makes ground cover look fantastic you know we all spent yeah. a lot of money on up lighting and spots for our house you get 10 of these you can do the entire uh you know uh, area of your home all the way around 360 degrees and you can get them done you don't have to worry about knocking them over with a lawnmower or banging into them they just give you great light and there's no install i mean they come with a little stake if you want to put them in permanent or if you want to you know put them beneath the grass level which a lot of people do you right. can but lou i mean to light up a stairway outside on a deck, hang them on a wall by your patio or outside your garage door. I mean, there's really so many different uses for these lights. Oh, no, there are. And you know what? What's interesting about these lights is that they're made to be used uh, horizontally as well as vertically, which you can't say about a lot of lights. If I show you the back of this guy right here, on the back of this, you can see right there, that's what we call the keyhole. The keyhole that's on there is for hanging this on a screw or on a nail. There's your on-off switch right there, and that is weatherized, as you can see. And that guy right there, you're going to turn it on one time probably and never have to touch it again uh, because they are self-regulating. They go on at dusk, they turn off at dawn. Now, I'm going to bring the lights down again, and I want to show you a couple of different ways that you can use these Perfect. just to give you some ideas here. Right? So here we go. We're turning my lights down. Now, I'm going to walk back here toward the couch because I want you to see we did a couple of interesting things back here. For instance, come on back here, Gail. Take a look at what we've done with the up lighting. You were talking about this before. I've got one sitting on top of this little fireplace right here. And you can see how it's illuminating the wall and it's going up on this picture, even though it's almost daylight outside. These are still throwing off enough light 
to let that go up there. So imagine that outside your house somewhere. Maybe you've got some bushes or you've got a water feature or a statue. I love the way this looks over here on the lamp, as you can see yeah. right there. And again, this you can use these indoors for parties. This is one of my favorites right here. That's actually one of the lights inside of this. And you can see that it almost looks like it's a luminary right there. Isn't that cool? I love How it. Much turning off and obviously there's ambient light coming in here from someplace one of the right. windows or something and yet it's still on guy and it's plenty plenty bright yeah and what, what all lou did is you know you leave them outside during the day and you can bring them in so if you are entertaining inside you know a lot of yes. us are doing more of that you can bring them inside but i i just i love them and, and you can see we turned our lights down here and, and as you can see the studio is still lit yet they're all triggered to go on um they're not as bright as they would be if all the lights were completely off but we want you to be able to see that they will go absolutely anywhere and i love Love also, we had a, we had a, um, a one of our callers uh, back back a long time ago called in and was like wrote in on one of our on one of the uh, you know on our Facebook page that she wished you could you know you put a keyhole in there so you could put them on the wall. Just, there you go, we did that too. So now if you want to hang them, you know, in and around a garage, you can do that. They're great just flat on the ground. They look great when you put them on mulch in your garden beds. Look at like the before and after there. Are you kidding me? Not only that, Lou, I love the security that comes with with um, solar lights outside because. Because you know as well as I do, you go into a neighborhood, it's the dark areas that you're, if you're a bad guy here, it's where you're going to be drawn yeah. to. If you see lights on, you, you assume that there's somebody at least keeping an eye on that property. And these, you have no timers to deal with. You don't have any right. wiring. You know, you and I always joke because the old, um, you know, the old transformer boxes, you had to put the little pin in to p set the time, and then all of a sudden daylight savings would come and screw everything up. You don't have to worry right. about that. When it gets dark, these will come on. So when you're coming home from work, when we get back on the road again, your house is going to be lit up. Your yard is going to be lit up. Indoors, outdoors, they're completely uh, impervious to weather. Um, these are 304 stainless. So these, I mean, these, that's really high grade stainless steel. Don't worry about walking on them or stepping on them or running over with the, with the uh, lawnmower. You don't have to worry about these. You can stake them into the ground. They come with the stake. So if you want to stake a couple into the ground, you can do that as well. Um, but they are literally, when you think about, we, we, you know, we sell 10 packs of, of solar lights. You're up over a hundred dollars. And another thing I'll mention, Lou, and maybe you could talk to this. Yeah. If you see a, a, a light, at a home store, a solar light, and it's five or six dollars, please beware. That's gonna last you probably one season. Be wary because it's probably made of oh, plastic. Man. It probably has yeah. a really cheap solar cell. I mean, there's a reason for that. These, you get high quality and you get well-built construction as, in addition to that. Yeah, no, like I said earlier, these are all 304 stainless steel. So it's not some mystery metal you're getting. And, you know, the other thing is the down light of the typical solar light versus the up light that comes from these and the three different ways you can use these. You can lay them flat as a surface, as you saw me do back there on the table. You can hang them on a hook or a, a nail or a screw with the keyhole in the back of this. And we give you the stake that comes with these as well. And then you just stick that into the bottom very, very easily like this. And you just... Put that right into the ground. And what's nice about this, too, is it doesn't have the hassles you were talking about with the low voltage lighting, you know, because we yeah. do get around about that all the time. But it's true. It's a lot of work. Usually you need an electrician. And frankly, I just like you, I can't see those timers, well, those little things you put in the no, timers. And Lou, and Lou I, 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 I had to replace the little halogen bulbs every season. At least I'd have to replace one of each every season. And those little stinking bulbs, you see how expensive they are? <laughs> you buy two really for like $13. I'm like, this is, I mean, a regular light bulb's a dollar. I'm why am I paying $8 for a little tiny bulb that big? I get it. There's technology, but here's the other yeah. difference. A halogen bulb basically is an element inside, a filament inside there that heats up, all right, you know, and, and, and you know, there's gas involved and all that stuff, and compacts and it radiates, but it emits heat. And not just a little bit of heat. Anybody out there that had said traditional solar lights and it rains or it snows, they steam because they're actually boiling. I mean, that's how hot they get. These lights, Lou, never get hot, so they never burn out. No, it's true. They never get hot. Um, and, you know, I'm sitting here. These have been on for a while now. We brought the lights down in my house again just so you can see this. These have been on for a while now and not hot at all. You can see the dog's not afraid of them. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's loving these things right here. Um, and, you know, it's just the easy way to go. And, guy, there's no way, better way, faster way 
to give your house more curb appeal. And especially right now, we're all spending so much time at home. I've got these all over my backyard, on tables, on the ground. I've got a, a big old market umbrella I've got around the bottom of that. You know, fire pits, you can put them on top of fence posts. Any place you want to put them, the stairs, as you mentioned earlier, yeah. that's what makes these so different than any other solar lights on the market today. And it's a really, really easy honeydew thing. You know what I mean, Lou? I mean, listen, I got a list a mile long <laughs> that I'm trying to do. I'm going to work. I'm working on landscaping now. Um, Danny and I were going to paint the house uh, because I don't have that big of a house. We're like, you know what? But why don't we just, why don't we do the exterior? We could do that. You know, yeah. and then all of a sudden we realized we'd have to take the awnings down. So we're getting painters to come in and do the house because I ain't taking awnings down. But I love jobs. I can do myself that are yeah. not that tough. And literally you deal these out like, like you're dealing out cards. Just throw them out there in the ground, make sure they're settled where you want. And at nighttime, yeah. let the fireworks begin because it is, if you've never had solar lights like this, you are in for a real treat. They really, I mean, Lou, they make a huge, huge difference. No, they really do. And you know what? I've said it before. I've got several sets of these, and some of them I don't leave out all the time. I mean, we keep them in our shed, and then when we're having a party or something, we'll bring them out. We'll put them out there. You've seen me use these as coasters before. You know, you saw the one back there that looks like a luminary inside of the, of the glass uh, vase back there. So many different ways that you can use these. And that's what's so cool about them is that, you know, you could really use your imagination. Now, guys, let me tell you something, though. A lot of people buy more than one set of these, and the reason is you're going to get them home. Home, you're going to use them the typical way that everybody does. You're going to put them out by your driveway. You're going to put them out by your walkway. And then you're going to look at them and go like, wow, I should have bought more. I have that more ideas of where I could use these. And I love the fact that you get, that you're going to get 10 of these. Okay. Like you get, you're going to get these two and then you're going to get another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. So 10 all together. Think about where you could put these outside. So maybe you got, a, maybe you could put four right in front of your picture window at the base so that it lights up the wall there. You could put them under a, uh, under a feature. If you've got, um, a lot of people bought uh, fountains in my garden show yesterday. If you have a fountain, you could put three of them around the fountain to light up the fountain at night. Imagine that, having a fountain and then trickling water and then light coming up. If you want to put them out by your mailbox, you could put one on the mailbox post. So at night, you, you know, people come in, you say, look for the mailbox with the light on it, right? You, there's so many ways you can use it. Lou's even used it as a coaster. Right, Lou? I have. I've done that. Yeah, you know, it's a little early in the day for me to have a cocktail. What time is it? No, no, it is. So, you know, they, I'm, not doing that. I'm not doing that this morning. I got my cup of joe right now. You, you, you uh, use you it with your cup of coffee, Lou. Hey, yeah, Lou, yeah. appreciate you. Thanks so much for Skyping in, buddy. You got it, buddy. Have a great day. All right, pal. Talk to you later. 685-872. If you want to pick them up, we're going to give you 10 of them. We'll ship them out to you. And if